How's it going everybody? It's your boy Aaron. We're back again with another video and I promised you guys last time back when I was hanging out with Jesse, it's still that same day by the way, that we would go ahead and dive into my valve cover gasket oil leak. So as you guys know, if you guys have been subscribed watching the videos for a long time, you guys know that I do have an oil leak and you can see it. It looks like it's coming from my rear main seal because it's coming from the bell housing between my engine and my transmission. Really hard to show you guys right now. There's a lot of drips right there down in the middle. I've had it up on the lift a bunch of different times and I was able to follow the trail of oil to see where it's coming from. We found out pretty much when we did our headers exactly where the oil is coming from. And it's kind of a no brainer because last time I did my valve cover gasket, I put a video on YouTube and everything, but what I didn't tell you guys was there were two bolts on here that just keep on screwing down they you know they're, they're really loose they they completely strip the threads on the engine block themselves it's this bolt and it's another one uh, just to the right of it so today i got the i got the new gasket and everything um got the red rtv and I'm, we're ready to dive into it pretty much got our tools we got to remove this intake we got to remove the upper plenum so all these bolts all the bolts around the upper plenum um, you know, all the plugs that, and hoses that go into the plenum. Got to remove the ignition coils and then we can remove the valve cover itself. We're gonna dive into it. Yeah, air tools. We got air tools, boy. Looking up the Jesse garage over here. So the reason why we have a drill is because we got this little kit right here. This is a little fixed a thread kit that we got from, well, that I got from Advanced Auto Parts. So you pretty much drill out the, the hole that the bolt goes into and then you drive one of these little Healy coils in there and that's really it. So right now we gotta start loosening all the bolts, remove everything, and then go from there. MRAV 2 Alright, plenum is removed, intake is removed, now we have pretty much enough room to get to everything. To remove this valve cover, we will have to remove that hose. We had to remove a couple hoses from, you know, this hose, this hose, and this hose from the plenum. Shitty, this is why you don't buy cheap ignition coils, they're gonna get fucking stuck in your car. Yay. Little paper towel, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off all the excess grime and RTV that is on top of there, the oil and whatnot. This way we can have a nice surface between that and the gasket. Pretty much what we gotta do right now, I already cleaned off the surface. We gotta start drilling into these two holes right here. I think what we gotta do is probably put something on this side so that the shavings don't go in there. But using a little bit of oil on the drill bit, it'll pretty much help the shavings start sticking to the drill bit instead of flying out and into the engine, which is not good. We're gonna take some oil, go ahead and pop it right over the hole there, make sure it's moved up. This will help with catching a little bit of shavings, but this is why we have the towel here to catch most of the shavings. Alright guys, so this is the little heli coil, this is what I'm going to be driving in there. I just tapped it, so now I'm going to take this coil, put it on the little driver, make sure it gets lined up right like so. I'm sorry that it gets blurry, I wish I could focus on my GoPro, I can't though. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and drive it into that first hole there. That 
that one in there super easy. Now I just gotta do the other side. We got them both tapped, we got them both helicoiled. So now all we gotta do, we got some nice new threads in there, we're good. All we gotta do now is remove this <coughs> very carefully because there's a lot of shavings on there. So we gotta remove the towel, like, if, like pick it up. Can we blow up the towel? No, we gotta roll it up real quick. So now I gotta lay down some red RTV. Especially over here in this corner, around this thing, loop around, come on down. Okay. Now we gotta put some dabs on the valve cover, put the gasket in there. The valve cover gasket. Man, it's gonna be so fun. <laughs> All right, well, guys, I'm gonna do this. Catch you guys in a little bit. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and dab a little bit of RTV um, right next to every single bullet hole. This way, we put the gasket in there, and then we flip the whole valve cover over. Um, the gasket won't fall out and be super annoying to put in. Put that shit on. So I wasn't recording, but we just got the valve cover on. So now we just gotta put everything back together. Yay. Alright guys, so we got the torque wrench now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and torque them down to about 25 foot-pounds at first, and then go back around and do them at s about 70 foot-pounds, or not foot-pounds, uh, inch-pounds. Big difference. We're just pretty much gonna be putting everything back together. Um, we got the valve, we got the valve cover in, we're plugging in the ignition coils right now. We're gonna go ahead and get the plenum back on. You already saw how we got it off, so it'll be kind of boring to show you putting it back together, but I'll show you guys, you know, what it's like running and not leaking, so we'll see. Okay, we got everything back together, we got the plenum on, everything's torqued down to spec. So pretty much with the bolts on the inside, you torque them down to 40 inch pounds, then 80 inch pounds. These top you do 40. And then you do all around 40, and then you do 80 for everything, and then 100 just on these outside ones. And obviously there is a sequence, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, there's actually a PDF online about, um, on Motordyne's website that explains all the torque specs and whatnot. If you have to do that, go ahead and click on the link in the, in the description, and they'll let you know all the torque specs. Um, everything's pretty much... Put away, we got the intake in, everything's plugged in. I hope everything's plugged in. I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything. So we're gonna go ahead and start the car right now, see what happens. Sweet. I don't hear any vacuum leaks, so I think you're good. Sweet. And that's how you do a valve cover gasket, woo! Yo guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Go ahead and hit that like button if you really enjoyed it. And hit that subscribe button if you guys are ready for some weekly uploads. And go ahead and hit me up on Instagram, double underscore A underscore G35. I'm plugging myself like crazy right now. All right, guys, no, for real. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know down in the comments what you think, what you hate, what you love, what you don't. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next one.